I bet you can't tell where I'm from. It's, uh, they, I am what they call a third culture kid. I um, was born and raised in the Middle East, in Dubai. But my parents are Indian, so my heritage is in India, in part of Asia, which is a part, which is a very big part of Asia. Um, and I grew up in Dubai my entire life. I did visit India once in a while, every year or so, because my grandparents used to live there. But now family, all, most of my family is now in Dubai. Like, we've all set up shop there. We all have families there. My family has, my cousins have kids. Pe like, people are growing up in Dubai, and, um, I mean, I did too. I spent my first, this first 17 years of my life there. Moved out to uh, Philadelphia to go to school for architecture. And that was cool for a year until I decided that I couldn't live in Philadelphia anymore. Um, I went back to Dubai, decided what I was going to do, trying to find myself. I, I knew I wanted to study architecture, I just didn't know where. I just didn't know what, where I could be, where I could be surrounded by architecture, but at the same time be inspired by art and creativity. Um, I took a trip down to New York one weekend to visit a friend for her birthday and she showed me around and it was literally a weekend. It was a day and a half because I had school on Monday. But I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed my entire freshman year semester in Philadelphia, which is which says a lot. Um, so I went back to Dubai, applied to Parsons, and applied to a bunch of schools in Dubai. Parsons was the only school I applied to here in New York. and. I really thought I wasn't going to get in until this like giant red envelope comes home. And I'm like, I know exactly where that's from. Running around the house before I even open it. Like, I knew, I knew what happened. I was, like, super excited. Packed my bags, and within two weeks, I was, I was on a plane out to, uh, out to the United States again. Um, and I, mean, I very recently graduated, so I'm now part of New York City's community. I am part of the city. I and the blood that runs in its veins. It's awesome, it feels great, you know, working, living, going home. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible how vibrant the city is and how it changes when you, when you go from being a student to being a responsible adult. Like, now, I, I mean, I still had responsibilities that I never did before, like growing up in Dubai is crazy. It's always been, I've always had things done for me. I've never really, had to do my laundry or wash the dishes. These things just get done at the house. And for me to come out here and start living on my own and understanding that I have responsibilities apart from just waking up and eating and going to sleep. I have to pay rent, I have to pay electricity. I gotta make sure that things are running smooth at home. Um, it changes you, it, if anything, I feel like that's what has made me mature. I mean, I moved, I moved out, of, I moved out of my house when I was 17, and I'm so glad I did. Every time I talk to, talk to younger, younger souls, I tell them that you need to, you need to break away from this, from, from this little bubble that you're in, and do things for yourself and learn through firsthand experience. Like people will tell you things for the rest of your life, but you can't believe everything because that's something that they think or someone something that someone told them it's not something that you learned or you understood by doing which is what i think is is incredibly important um i mean i i've been in new york for four years now for foreign change and every day is incredibly incredibly different like i've never really I mean, there have been days where I'll try and stick to a routine, you know, go to work, go to the gym after, go home, make some food, go to sleep. Some days are like that. Some days are absolutely boring. But within these days, there's moments where you see like a homeless dude fall out of his chair, which is, I mean, it might sound like terrible to laugh at, but it's kind of funny and it's okay to find, find joy in small things like that. I mean, I think it's hilarious. It's only happened very recently, which is why it just popped in my head. Um, but there's these moments where I guess it could, I don't know, it could be some, it could be, it could happen anywhere in the world. It could happen in any other city in the world, but for some reason it feels very New York when you see certain things and 
the experiences I've, I guess, I've experienced here before um, have always, it's never like something I'm, I don't feel like I'm going to take these, these aren't in my memory for the rest of my life, but in the moment they were amazing. They were, they, they made me feel a certain type of way and which is, and that's, that's all I'm, that's all I'm really craving is, is some sort of, some sort of experience, a momentary experience which inspires you and then lets you continue on with your, with your journey, with your daily journey. Um, it's, it's been incredible, I mean, at least, at least for New York so far, it's been, it's been awesome. Um, I think, I think there's so much culture, so much, so much vibrance everywhere. Um, I've met so many different people in New York. There have been times where all I wanted to do was stay indoors, and it's it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sometimes you need an escape from the city, but there's not really there's not a lot of there's not a lot of directions you can go in. Sometimes it's always just good to to put, lock yourself in your room and just contemplate. But then again, it's like like I remember freshman, sophomore year, even junior year when I'd go back home for Christmas or for the summer. I would. I remember enjoying the first two weeks like crazy because I'm back, the family's there, all my friends are there, my car, um, and and then within like two, three weeks, you start realizing how, how much you miss New York City. There's so much happening here. Back in Dubai, every day is the same. I hang out with the same people every day. I wake up in the sa about the same time every day and kind of got the same routine every day. I mean, I'm not saying routine's a bad thing. I love it. I love routine. But there's there's no, like, there's no midway. There's no in-between experiences that you do get here throughout your day, which is, which is incredible. Um, I haven't been back to Dubai since, uh, since December last year because I've recently started working in New York. And I'm also doing things on the side, which are awesome, which is incredible. I studied architecture, I graduated, and now I have an, a job at an architectural firm, which is awesome. But at the same time, I spend my free time not doing architectural-related things. I'm shooting music videos and going around and doing documentaries and talking to people and in, like embracing the city as much as I can. Because... Uh, I don't know how much longer I have here because I'm an international student. I'm an international student. I know for a fact that after my my year, my one year past graduation visa expires, either someone's gonna have to sponsor me, or I gotta put my put my name in a lottery, or I just gotta go find a new home, a new place to call home. And going back to Dubai is always an option. My parents have been very supportive that way. Props to them. They've been super supportive about me coming out here to study and start a life, and I mean, I would, I wouldn't, I would want nothing more but to give back to them. But at this moment in my life, I don't know if I could go be with them and still be able to to thrive. Um, so I feel, so I feel New York is definitely one of the cities that's opened my eyes to a lot more. The one thing I do miss about Dubai though is just the the involvement of the ve of a vehicle in everyday life. I don't get to drive here. I love driving and I've been driving ever since I could see over the steering wheel. And then I moved to New York and it's like, oh we just take the subway or the bus everywhere. It's like interesting. So then I decided I'm gonna get a skateboard because, you know, at least it's got four wheels, I can control the speed. And I don't really have to wait in line or wait for the train to show up. So that was that was exciting for well it it lasted for a little bit until I moved on to a bicycle, which was slightly faster. You can carry more things and you don't fall as often. Um, but you know things happen. Um, and very recently, I broke my foot, and I I realized how difficult it is to be in New York City without being mobile. I mean, it's impossible 
to do anything. It was it, it was so bad to a point where I used to struggle to bring a glass of water from my kitchen to my to my table so I could sit there and work because I was on crutches. Thankfully, I had my roommate who uh, who helped me through that th through those dark times. Well, they were dark times, but good things came out of it. You know, I got a chance to sit down and not mess around and just sit like work on my portfolio, work on some some previous projects that I left halfway hanging. I got to finish a lot of things, I guess you could say. And I feel like it was it was an eye opener though because I I met a lot of new people weirdly enough because they kind of noticed that oh this kid used to play basketball and now he's at the basketball court in a wheelchair taking photos of people playing basketball. So it it did change it did change the way my daily routine worked, but it was it was definitely a learning curve. Um, I I haven't broken a bone with it for for about five six years and this was this was quite a serious injury so I was out for two months and two months is a lot of time to think because you don't have your feet to walk around with um, I didn't get to see a lot of New York City I did miss a lot of like summer I missed the end of summer which I'm kind of frustrated about I'm not going to show it on camera but I'm like properly mad that I did not get to enjoy the summer, which is why I'm already planning summer 2017. So looking forward to it. It's going to be incredible. Um, but at the same time, like, I sat down and I got work done. It was great. It was great. I, I, maybe it was a sign from the universe telling me to just stop moving so much, just calm down for a second and figure things out. And I think I did. Um, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm still figuring things out every day. Is uh, every day. There's, it's it's interesting to think um, how how a creative mind works. It's like imagine imagine your browser, your web browser has like five thousand tabs open at the same time. That's exactly what's happening in here. It's like you're constantly switching between things, but you know you have to get back to something at some point and it's a it's a little intense, but it's I wouldn't I wouldn't want it to be any other way. Um.